America, the first Avenger has a terrific cast and it's got brilliant performances. Chris Evans certainly does love his comic book roles, with this being his six. His six? How do you even manage that? He is in serious competition with Ryan Reynolds. When I was younger, I, I wasn't particularly favourable to Chris Evans, but after watching this film again and seeing more of his work, he makes a wonderful Steve Rogers. He captures his innocence wonderfully and really digs deep into that nature of doing good. You know, when I watched it again, I noticed just how similar this character is to Diana from the DC world. Don't mention DC while talking about a Marvel film. What I was deeply impressed with was the team behind the Skinny Rogers transformation to the big buff Captain America. Though at first, it is slightly jarring and a little bit disturbing seeing this tiny CGI Chris Evans it's a bit like creepy CGI baby from Twilight. Eventually, the more you look at it, the more you come around to seeing actually just how remarkable it really is. And I'm not talking about creepy CGI baby. That The more you look at that, the more creepy it gets. Tommy Lee Jones gives a really fun performance with his quips and even <laughs> the moment where he eats the steak just gives the film a kick. And Hayley Atwell gives a strong, charming performance as Peggy Carter. I love that actress. She just seems to belong to that era. It's like she meant to have been, like she was just born in the wrong era basically because she is just perfect for just the whole style, the look and just the demeanor. And it's just great to have another female role to look up to. Bastian Stan, Stanley Tucci, Dominic Cooper, Toby, and I mean everything Jones, they all give adorable and decent performances. If you ever wondered what a live action Pinky and the Brain would look like, it's in this film. Toby, I'm in Everything Jones and Hugo Weaving are basically playing these characters with such ease. The 1940s costume and production design are stunning, though you could argue it's not really a true representation because it is a little bit too glossy, but hey, it looks great. I never realised that 1940s Brooklyn looks like a modern Manchester and Liverpool in England. Who knew? Joking aside, really great use of location. It is a really great setup, especially for someone like myself who didn't know the Captain America origin story. I didn't have a clue, I never read the comic books. Um, but it does eventually lose itself. It seems like Joe Johnson is on autopilot and he just cruised his way through just some kind of dreary journey. Now this is my third or maybe my fourth attempt now at watching this movie and I just still can't make it to the end. That third act is it's difficult. It's not a terrible film, I just find it becomes tedious and rather lifeless which is such a shame when you consider how great the first like two thirds are. Thanks for watching, be sure to like the video and leave a comment in the box below with your thoughts and feelings on Captain America the First Avenger and please subscribe.